Hi traders, a few minutes after my trading session is over and I'm uh, reviewing some of my trades. Uh, one of them was LLY today and take a look at LLY. It started with a gap up and then it came down. Nice reversal and I'm about to go long and I really like this trade because LLY is strong today. It uh, has a uh, uh, a nice technical formation here for a reversal over 155. It just moved over and I'm long 8,000 shares. I didn't quite get it at uh, 155, got 20 cents above, which is a bit of a problem here, but it's approaching the highs. Now it crashed down. Now, very quickly, I'm running this video very fast now, so you can see what happened there. It came down very fast. These are one minute candles. However, it was supported at the lows. Now it's the second time it supported the lows. My stop was a cent under the lows and it really touched the lows twice. Now look at it getting back to the highs once more. Now I have a very good feeling that's going to go higher and I'm about to add another 4,000 shares as it is approaching the highs added now. So I've got 12,000 shares long now hoping that it's going to go through the highs. It's a very rare occasion where it will move like that, rejecting the lows several times and not going over the lows. However, <laughs> that's exactly what happened here. Now it started going sideways for quite a lot of time. Well, I can uh, definitely say that it held to the highs and now look at it. Here we go. Finally, moving over the highs. So that turned out to be a beautiful trade, just spiked up, up uh, beautifully and uh, finally uh, reached my target. Look at that beautiful move up and now I'm getting ready to reduce my size. Uh, 11,600 shares and just did over $11,000 in LLY and that trade really worked out fine. And uh, I'm going to go through the rest of my trades now, but uh, traders, if you want to help our channel, please give, give us a thumb up. It's right here below. It helps more people like you to enjoy this channel and hopefully learn a little bit more about trading. The more we are, the better we are. We look for more trades together. That happens in our live training room and giving us a thumb up that will help you help us help the channel, help YouTube uh, get aboard more traders like you. So thank you very much for doing that. And now let's take a look at the rest of my trades today. And here comes my second trade, which was Boeing. Now take a look at Boeing. It started with a gap up today. However, the airlines are coming down and Boeing does the same. And I'm about to short now, shorting now, shorting it before it moves to a new low. This is extremely important because you don't want to take a stock at a new low. You want to take it before it moves to a new low. You want to expect the next move. But take a look at what happens now. It just slightly moved back up. Now, when it comes back down to the low, it gives me higher certainty that it is about to break down. Therefore, I'm about to add now another 4,000 shares just added and it came down under the lows. You expect a new low. You don't short it at a new low. Look at this beautiful breakdown. However, it did not reach my target. It was very, very close uh, around 236. So it uh, really came down very strong. Uh, thinking back, I should have taken my partial right at the lows there, but it kept coming down and I thought it's not going to pull back up and it did now pull back up a little bit, but now comes a new low. It was a beautiful trade. It's at my target right now, a bit more than the point and I'm taking my partial and uh, that was my second trade around $8,000 in uh, Boeing, a beautiful breakdown. I'm about to short mRNA here. Now take a look at mRNA, the way it came down earlier. Very strong downside momentum, then reversed. Now it's coming down again. I'm about to short uh, 8,000 shares. I'm shorting now. Now, again, the, the momentum is very, very clear. mRNA is coming down. The market is also coming down, so it's helping. Now take a look at the way mRNA came down. Now I'm, I'm, that's a fast forward, of course, so you can see what happened. At that point, I was up like $9,000, $10,000, and then it bounced back up. Well. You never know where you're going to get your first target uh, your partial. At that point, I'm down almost $10,000, but the stock is trending lower, so I should trust it. At that point, it bounced back up around 60% around the Fibonacci pullback. That's nothing wrong about that. It gave me a very clear uh, stop point. As you can see, that's a very clear resistance point, and there's nothing wrong about the stock going your way and then bouncing back up as long as it does not change the trend. So technically speaking, look, that is quite beautiful. Now it just bounced at the lows, under the lows, reaching my target at around 164, I'm up 14, 15 thousand dollars, taking my partial here, and it just reached my target, and that was a very, very nice trade in MRN. It just trusted the trend. Now comes uh, ZM. Uh, ZM is definitely trending lower. It's uh, red, it's down 3%. It was my, one of my main candidates today, but I missed it initially. So I'm about to short now. 
It's close to the lows. I'm expecting a new low, shorting here 8,000 shares and uh, expecting it to move under this support uh, that you're seeing here. Now, again, I'm uh, uh, fast forwarding this uh, video so you can see what happened there. It, uh, it, it held for a while. It did not initially come down. And that's kind of interesting. Of course, I would expect it and hope that it will. But now that it's trying to move its way down again, quite like what happened in Boeing earlier. It's proving to me that it wants to come down, so I'm getting ready to add another 4,000 shares. You never add to a loser, but you do add to a winner if you have the feeling that it's about to go your way. So I'm getting ready to add another 4,000 and I'm about to do that now. So now I'm sure 12,000 shares in the end because it proved to me that it's getting close to the lows and in my opinion about to break down under the lows and uh, again a bit of a first forward here so you can see what happened it did still take it the time but you know zm was trending lower i did get some market support the market was coming down and now look at what happens uh, next here comes a new low very big spike down i'm already up uh, uh, well, eleven, thirteen thousand dollars, twenty-seven thousand dollars. Look at the numbers here, and um, did not yet reach my target. I'm looking for a new low, uh, twenty-five thousand dollars, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Took my partial. Well, that ended up in around thirty-five thousand dollars. But again, trusted the trend. It came down. The momentum was down. The market was down, and the end result was a fantastic trade in ZM. So here's my result for today. As you can see here, uh, 63, almost $64,000. I also had one losing trade here in RCKT. There's really nothing to show there, so excuse me for not showing it to you, but I did have my last trade, uh, a losing trade in RCKT. Well, uh, traders, thank you very much for watching this, and I hope that was uh, educational for you. It helped you, and uh, if it was, uh, please give us a thumb up. It will be very helpful if you do that right here below um, so that more people could uh, watch our channel and probably get some more help in uh, day trading. And uh, traders, if you have any questions or if there's any comments about this video, if there's any questions regarding any trade I took today, uh, why did I do this? Why did I do that? Then right here at the comments below, uh, write it down and I promise I'm going to answer each and every one of your comments. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video again.